could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night Good morning everybody and welcome to Outer Water Common and we're just in the shadows of the Langdale Pikes which have just decided to go and hide behind a bit of cloud this morning. Um, the reason for me being here is that I'd like to try and capture some of the really nice autumnal colours um, in this valley and for those of you who are familiar with the Lake District you'll probably be very familiar with the Langdale Pikes, you'd have probably seen it before whether it's you know seen it in photographs or you might have seen it on a postcard or chocolate box or that kind of thing because it is that kind of typical quintessential Lake District image uh, and scene as well so yeah I want to try and capture some of these autumnal colours ideally with the sun, sunrise but at the moment the clouds are not playing ball uh, the clouds have just decided to hide the Langdale Pikes for us and I don't know if even the weather is going to play ball this morning or not. Uh, it was forecast to be uh, cloudy with some sunshine uh, to begin with and then clearing up during the day, a little bit later on in the day. Uh, so it's just going to be hit and miss as to what's going to happen this morning. We've already had a little bit of rain um, but just typical with the Lake District, you can't predict the weather. Uh, especially at uh, this kind of odd time of the year as well. So uh, my plan for today, there's a house just down in the bottom there and it's surrounded by some trees which have got some really nice autumnal colours on them. So there's some deciduous trees which have the uh, really nice autumn browns and oranges that come with uh, autumn and also there's some evergreen trees in there as well so we've still got the kind of greenery to give a really good mixture of colour. Uh, so that's that's the plan, ideally using the house as a little bit of a focal point slash foreground interest, not too sure. Um, but yeah we just got to wait to see what the morning brings in terms of the weather because uh, I'm not too sure how well it's going to pan out. Um, if we don't get the colour, then it's not probably not going to be a great morning for it. So, um, yeah, it's just a case of waiting around and seeing what happens. Um, I've got my 70 to 200 lens with me. I've also got my 24 to 70. So I'm going to play around with um, being further away and then bringing the um, scene in a little bit closer and try and compress it a little bit more and then I'll probably move a little bit closer and try and capture kind of like the whole scene um, using a slightly wider angle lens. So that's the plan for this morning. Um, yeah, uh, it's good to be back out. It's uh, been a while since I've been back out uh, doing a, a video so it's, it's great to be out doing another one. Um, so a little bit of kind of location information so this hill just behind me is Lingmore and some of you will remember that from my one of my videos that I did with Chris Gooch we did the wild camp up there and uh, yeah that was um, quite a nice uh, fail to do not too big neither so ideal for a good wild camp and then just behind me here which has got a little bit of snow on it uh, just there which I believe it's Weatherlam, don't hold me to that. Um, I only think that it is Weatherlam. Uh, but yeah, nice bit of snow up there. It was clear when I got here this morning and now it's clouded over. Um, the Langdale Pikes are starting to appear back through just there behind me. So we'll have to see what, uh, what happens as the morning progresses. So I'm going to get myself all set up and organized and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I should have locked the gate. I should 
should have thrown away the key Then I'd be fine with this To be the end for you and me I've been under your spell I flush it out to sea And hope someday I can repel Even if we wait the day You're causing all the trouble Okay, so I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a, an update as to what I'm doing. So at the moment, I've got the 70 to 200 lens on, uh, just to try and pull everything in uh, to do the kind of foreground a little bit more, try and pull the, the fells in the background. I had the 24 to 70 on there before, and yeah, it was, it was an okay composition, but it wasn't quite good enough. You know, I wanted to try and get a lot more detail from them fells behind, as well as the bits in the foreground. So this is about the ideal distance that we want to be at and then we're just using the longer lens to pull it in a bit closer. We're not quite at 105 millimeters on that. Uh, so yeah, you know, got some room to play with. I could zoom in a little bit more, come out a little bit more and just kind of playing around with that in a moment. And it's really compressing the image as well. And on the front, we've got a uh, Lee landscape filter, uh, polarizer, which um, for those that you that know that use Lee filters or the Lee landscape filter, it is, does give a slightly warmer tone, which kind of helps um, with the autumnal feel to this image. So, um, you know, it's uh, hopefully going to work in our favour a little bit. And then I've also got a Lee 0.9 soft edge grad on there as well. And that's just to kind of retain the detail back in the... Uh, clouds which some of it is a little bit blown out so it's uh, kind of needed and really working hard to kind of compensate for that um, I'll just show you the composition up on the screen now so we've got the house in the right hand third bottom right hand third then obviously you've got the trees and then you've got the fells in there background as well which we've been capturing a little bit of cloud moving across kind of taking full advantage of the morning uh you know the conditions that we'd be given this for this morning to give you the idea so yeah hopefully we'll make up for the lack of light and then we've also just set up my uh fuji there to do the time lapse and we're taking an image every seven seconds and we're gonna take uh, 700 just over 700 of those so hopefully that should give us about 20 second or so time lapse or just over that and uh, settings normal settings on this which is minus one exposure compensation auto shutter speed f8 and iso 100 and also manual focus so um, yeah I'm just gonna progress and see how this morning goes I might even get a shot of weather lamb just up there I'm not sure yet. I'm going to just concentrate on this one and just see how the um, morning progresses with this light. I'm not holding out much hope, to be honest. Um, you know, we're well past sunrise now, so I think the, the best of the morning's gone, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but, you know, you can't win them all. So, yeah, I'm just going to progress on, see what happens, uh, see if I can get any more images, and uh, then we'll take it from there. Why do I cry? Why do I get so obsessed when I fall in love? Is 
Okay, so the weather didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but we did get some light coming through just above those trees, that's where the sun is. And it didn't actually light up the Langdale Pikes, but it did light up the foreground. So in a, in a way, we kind of got like the reverse contrast of what, what I was going for, to be honest. So, um, uh, but it worked really, really well and everything really come together because the the house that we're photographing as well there they put their fire on so you could see smoke coming up the chimney as well so it uh it's really added to like kind of like the feel of autumn to the image you know the whole coziness of you know the cottage and uh you know so on and so forth so um and we was quite lucky with the clouds. We had a little bit of cloud coming through, passing through over the Langdale Pikes. So that uh, kind of worked in our favor a little bit, kind of added another element into the image. Um, it, it's gone really, it's gone really cloudy up there. I actually think it's probably snowing up there at the moment. So, um, cause it seems to be getting whiter and whiter as the morning progresses on. So yeah, um, had some really good images. I ended up, um, almost sticking with the same composition but just tying it at different focal lengths and that has kind of picked out certain elements um you know i just literally had the house with the surrounding autumnal colors from the trees and then brought it out a little bit you know getting the whole view of the langdale pikes and then bringing it right out as far as i could with the with the 70 to 200 just to get a bit more of the scene i'm not as keen on that image um definitely more keen on actually focusing on the house uh with the surrounding colors without the langdales in the background but i'm also quite keen on the the kind of the middle of the two as well so um yeah it seems to have worked really really well um especially with that light coming in at the right time and also this the the, the smoke coming up the chimney uh really kind of added to it i think we had a fairly successful morning um, considering it wasn't what we was after uh, but that's what it's all about it's about coming out and working with what you get uh, especially as far as the weather and the elements give you so uh, that's about me done here for today i'm just going to wait for my time lapse to wrap up i'm quite looking forward to seeing how that's turned out uh, so yeah that's uh, going to be quite interesting um, but yeah all in all uh, very very good morning and uh, yeah until next time I should have locked the gate I 
should have thrown away the key And I'd be fine with this To be the end for you and me Now you pour out of me Cause I've been under your spell I flush it out to sea And hope someday I can repel Even if we wait the day You're causing all the trouble Sparing in my head What was that supposed Free to run me down 